Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend you to stay uh, on a sim, get educated before you start using real money. Uh, we're going to start with a precision auto trade. I mean, it's a bit uh, early right now, uh, but uh, we still have uh, uh, three charts still open. Uh, we have the YM, uh, the five minutes, took a very nice trade today. Uh, we have the ES, which I will be closing, is already made $712. And then you close the position uh, on this one here. I'm running it without a daily target. And uh, you can see the number made 2000 112.50. I'm running this one without a daily target just to see how efficient those auto trades are. Uh, on the gold, uh, we we have an 800. Soon we're gonna hit the target 1,000. All of them on the $1,000 target. Uh, we started with the YM 230. It did a wonderful job. I mean, one after the other, and. Um, one trade, two trade, break even, one losing trade, one losing trade, made a nice uh, uh, right in here, two losing trade, and one winning trade. So we had one, two, three, four, five, uh, five uh, winning trade, and two losing trade. This is amazing. The target is uh, 1,000 on all of them, but because the market is going to your direction, the auto trade is not going to shut down, it's going to stay. And sometimes you hit a jackpot with that. The Russell, I'm not a Russell trader, but here it is, uh, 1,000 right on the spot. The NASDAQ, I always uh, share the NASDAQ with you. The 590 is my favorite uh, chart uh, for the NASDAQ, and it is very consistent. Uh, which amazing because also I have not uh, updated the template. It's been running on the same template for uh, three months now. And uh, why messing with it when it's working? So I, I could have get it better if I mess with it, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it. I'm pleased with it. Also is on $1,000 uh, target. And uh, the you can see from the last trade, it did a beautiful trade and took it nicely. And uh, so you got 1,400 more. So the total is 24. On the ES 46 second, which this one here, we did the optimization on Monday and uh, hit the target. Then we have the ES 30 second, beautiful, done by 10 o'clock, 1,000. CL 22nd also did a wonderful job on the CL today. Um, one and two, 1080 by 10 o'clock, we were done. I didn't, the market was not really um, aggressive today for me to go for one more round. ES 10 second is one of my favorite chart. One, two, three, done, 2700 on the 10 second. One, two, three. And it is done. You know, beautiful. Uh, on the, the 25 second, 1,000. On the YM, two minutes, 1240. Uh, let's look at the next generation. Uh, the next generation is a very advanced auto trade, requires some knowledge. I don't have that many charts, it's just to show uh, the next generation. You can trade anything in it. Uh, and uh, uh, the one minute and the full range uh, did extremely well today. And uh, it was one shot on the range and uh, then on the uh, one minute Hakanachi. Uh, 1362 uh, on that one. The third one did not make it today. And uh, welcome to trading didn't make it. Uh, the five minutes chart didn't make it. And 
That's life. Well done to trading. Nobody said life is perfect. And um, we will uh, try to cover different auto trade as well. Uh, this one here is the scalper. This is a total uh, uh, different auto trade, a very friendly auto trade. And uh, practically you can trade it without optimization, but we strongly recommend to optimize it. It takes you a couple days to learn how to optimize this one. Uh, one losing trade, one, two, and three. It's one, it was done on 1300 for an ES 30 second, two minutes. Uh, one a small trade and then one trade it was done 1850 the one minute took uh, this one here a little bit more one two trades I think it was two trade three yes you see it took more trade one two three there is a small trades a small one here and a very hardly a small losing trade is a is a break even, and uh, twelve hundred on the uh, on the uh, scalper. Another auto trade is uh, the precision. No, I'm sorry, the TI seven. Uh, as I said, it's still a little bit early, so um, we still have uh, three charts open. We still have the YM uh, on the 595 takes. And uh, if you uh, range lower, and uh, this is uh, the ES on 11 range, it does not take a lot of trades. If you notice, this is uh, on the range, uh, it's not taking a lot of trades. And uh, this is the only trade, and it is 15, 1600. So when you are using 11 range, I mean, you can make it very aggressive and can take uh, a lot of trades. Uh, this is the five minutes we are. You see the difference between this one and here and this one here. Uh, this one without a trend and stop, this one with a trend and stop. This one here is depend on the trend. If the market uh, change in direction is going to uh, close that uh, position. Uh, ES also 12 range. My favorite today was uh, this one here, regardless the uh, PNL uh, is 3,475 on the ES. But um, regardless that it's not, it's this one here that trade took it from 12 o'clock all the way till 1343. This was a beautiful ride. Took the first. Uh, plot and then the plot the second one and uh, uh, I love the way it entered that uh, entry uh, and um, it's no longer is about the PNL is about how the auto trade taking the trade and exit is more challenging the three minutes there we go here it is for Russell traders and um, the Russell also again three minutes scalping mood you can scalp you can uh, swing trade Whatever you wanted to do, you can have a huge variety of entries and filters. You can do whatever you want to do with this one here. For some reason, we have the YM. This is the only one, nine minutes. Uh, and uh, this is the only one we have a very high uh, time frame. But uh, what it does is cleaning all the noises in the market and it's taking a big trades or it take one trade for a, a day and then it's finished so it depends what you want to do the size amount of money you have uh, what kind of experience you have what kind of risk you want to have is i mean it's not a just one size issue fit all i mean you know it's it depends from one trader to another uh, what you want to risk how you want to uh, interfere with the market how you want to filter the market and our job to train you and then what you can do with it is up to you uh, Nasdaq the, the four minutes is 12 uh, 20 and then uh, we have the ES two minutes that's what also took a nice trade very nice uh, YM uh, again the YM is doing nicely on the uh, takes chart 
and then uh, we have the ES4 minutes, uh, 540, and the CL13 range is doing extra. This is beautiful today, the way it handled that trade because we had some really sideway market here. You see, this is where very nasty for any kind of auto trade, and I don't have a lot of filter because it's a high time frame. So we got in into nasty area here, which causing giving up all the gain, and then start picking up uh, after 12 o'clock, after one o'clock, and you see here, here, this is really a good example, guys. I mean, I don't need a brainer. Um, if we look here, how many trades, and it was really a lot of, I mean, it was just smoked all the profit earlier, took all the pr profit out. And then when the market starts moving out, one trade, two trades, three trades, four trades, five trades, and I hit the 24. Uh, 80 so it's the same auto trade the same chart the same time frame and it is a very serious um, uh, uh, chart and as you see uh, uh, when when the market is not running uh, you're gonna get um, overnight as an example uh, or um, if the market sideways even um, so you're gonna get into little trouble and then when the market is start picking up uh, you you uh, you will be fine and um, on this one here by 1040 it was done today but if we want to look at the globex here it was a really nasty and then um, so so you have to understand that when um, you have to be careful when you are trading a globex. Uh, you need to, uh, like, uh, I didn't show you that chart, like uh, 28. This is uh, from Monday optimization. Let me show you something. You know, like a smaller time frame. This one here is a smaller time frame or 10 seconds. But you have to have the proper auto trade to trade the the smaller time frame. And then last, uh, this is a signal automated to trade, and uh, we will start with the forex on the top. This is the forex signal, and uh, uh, today we we got uh, uh, the new signal uh, for the Bitcoin to go long. And um, it did very well. It did very well on the buy entry on the, uh, the the crypto. And then if we look at the the, the second section here is not much. It's thirty dollars, five dollars, two dollars, fourteen dollars, because this is a micro account based on one contract and of course you're not gonna get thousands in it so there is eight dollars twelve dollars and because this is a micro account here on this section here the lower section on the top section it is the mini and uh, you can see the Nasdaq today really highlight everything and this is based on one contract 500 takes based on one contract Yes, right now, based on the last entry signal, not the whole day. The last entry signal, uh, 10 takes, struggling with the Russell. And as, as I said today, the market was not really aggressive. And um, and um, now we have the NASDAQ closed, the last trade for today. On the three minutes is twelve eighteen. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, sometimes I sound horrible, or I sound like um, because because at the end of the day, uh, after sixteen hours work, because we we 
we run uh, the, the, the European session and the US session. So after 16 hours worth, you know, you start see two charts, two candle, and then you start, you know, totally beat. And um, so, uh, you know, the always somehow we do the uh, recorded video, not the live video. We do the recorded video at the end of the day. By the end of the day, after you talk to a million people, you trade all this, you know, and then your batteries goes off. But um, we'll see you tomorrow uh, on the other channel live. And um, I want to say thank you very much and wish you a pleasant evening. Bye for now.